are we ready for another round of our sizzling hot topics discussion? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Us, as per usual, Corey <laughs> Dillon from Mix 100.7, yes. Anjali Queen B. McGuire from 95.7 The Beat, and Drew Garabo from 102.5 no. The Bone, <laughs> celebrating his five year anniversary at The Bone. How did you know? Thank yeah. you, Jerry. You know, a little birdie oh. told me. I got a plaque. So, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Excellent, nice. excellent. Um, how long have you been with The Beat? Five years. Five years? Yeah. When was your anniversary? Yes. It may. All right. Oh, hey. Hey. Two anniversaries. Anniversaries all the way around. And radio been, years, that's 50 years. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's right. And you've been with The Mix how long now? Uh, with Mix 100.7, uh, uh, seven months. All right. Yay. Yay. That's cute. Yay. That's so cute. Seven months anniversary. Okay. Seven years in regular. Well, and how long has Kim Kardashian been taking selfies? Forever. Her whole life. Forever. Forever. This yes. is how you can all celebrate these anniversaries. Please. Kim Kardashian has made it clear that she's never going to stop with the naked photos, mm. regardless of her age. Good. Nude selfies till I die, said the 35-year-old reality star recently while accepting the Break the Internet Award. Is this a good idea? Yeah. Do you think? Do you no. Think? I, I, no. I don't get it. I don't. I mean, if she wants to keep taking naked selfies, I guess more power to her, but I don't get it. She's and now that popular. she has children, what is baby Nori and Saint gonna think as mm. they get older? Like, why is my normal. mama showing her like, naked body all the time? Why do my parents name me Nori and Saint? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. No, but I mean, does anyone... They'll be, does, they'll be in court changing I, their I names. Wonder, yeah. I do wonder with the longevity of her career. I mean, how long will she last taking nude mm. selfies? Who, who wants to she see may? a 60, 70, 80... I'm sorry. Who wants to see that? Drew does. Do you this really? Right here. As long no, as it's Kim don't. Kardashian. You not don't. your average 67-year-old lady, like you my don't. mom, but like Kim Kardashian will oh see that dude. Oh, your mom's I still flattered, I'm sure. I, I thought Bette Mittler's comment was hilarious when she did the last selfie, that if Kim wants us to see something we haven't seen before, perhaps she should swallow the camera. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, people, you know, it's their prerogative to do what they want. Exactly. Yeah. However, I agree with whoever just said, oh, about uh, what you said about the kids. I I, I don't no, think that's... Mm. Oh, you said it. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah. think that's something that, uh, yeah. well, you know... Well, it's already out there. I don't I mean, think my daughter you know. would look fondly upon that. Had yeah. I decided to take my clothes off every two seconds for, for the internet... But what's done is I'd... done. What she's done lives in perpetuity on the internet anyway. This is true. Correct. So. Helen Mirren just came out and said, way to go, Kim Kardashian, yep. for making everybody accept their curves. So there's a one positive right sure. there, that it's yeah. okay to be curvy. Helen Mirren, by the way, beautiful nude oh, selfie. Oh, yeah. She, yeah. she is a gorgeous she, woman. She yep. is indeed. Yeah, she absolutely. Indeed. All right, let's move on to a Pakistani father of 35 Oof. is now searching for a fourth wife as he exhausts himself and his wives toward his goal of 100 children a dubious ambition in the conservative wow. Muslim country where polygamy is rare but still practiced hmm. Sadar Yan Mohammed Kilji says he believes it is his religious duty to have as many children as possible his three current wives support his procreational and matrimonial goals as they all live in harmony together, women's rights activists are furious, saying it is women and children who suffer the most in polygamous marriages. While polygamy is legal in Pakistan, it is, as I said, a rarity. Mm. So, and he can, can he afford all those kids? I mean, that's the thing. I think it's immoral. If No matter where you are in the world, if you can't afford to feed and put, you know, those kids under a roof and, and put clothing on them, that's stupid. It's disrespectful. I mean, how, yeah. you, you can't possibly provide the, the, the things that those women for, and the children need in that relationship. You can't mm. provide for them emotionally, financially. You, he said that, <laughs> he said so far he's been able to take care of his family financially, but mm -hmm. he's afraid that things will get tough, so he's asking the government to help him. Mm. That's, the government didn't have all those children. Yeah. He's saying this is his religious duty. Mm. What religion requires you to have a hundred children. Zero. No. no. And, and, yeah. no. and I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, but I don't think uh, the the Islamic religion does. No, I think no. I, I yes. think so. they're not asking you to right. have a hundred kids. Not a hundred kids, no. but I think it's 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 like Catholics, you know, have as many as you possibly can. I mean, no being thanks. one of six. Well, but I mean, one hundred is an extreme. Six oh, of course. Extreme. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you have more than five kids, you're a little batty in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. That's like, well, who Thank needs you. that many children? And around? isn't thirty five enough? Uh, no, thirty six. <laughs> that's a magic. I mean, how many children can one woman have? I mean, that's there's a few. One woman's had well, three women and. 
35 kids? Yeah. yeah. He's going to have to have a lot more wives Check or he's going to hit 100. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just think this is just not a great idea. Yeah. Then again, if I get a fatal exactly. disease, I'm going to so follow sorry. right in his footsteps because I'm going to figure I need to plant as many seeds as possible to keep the Garabo lineage going after <laughs> I'm gone. So let me not cast a stone at this point. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service this year, and record crowds visited the most popular sites over the Memorial Day weekend. But the throngs of tourists are straining the parks and the agency actually protects, increasing pollution and creating conflicts between humans and wildlife. Should the Park Service restrict access to protected areas, or does that contradict its mission to keep the lands open and accessible to everyone? Protect the animals for Protect the loud. animals. We're invading on their space. That's their home. That's their area. That's their... Uh, they've made that specifically for wildlife to be able to live so mm -hmm. why do we want to why do interrupt you want a traffic them? jam in why the middle of a national park? That's, I mean, caribou. and that's the problem. It's become, become so popular. They're already taking measures because they're just overwhelmed with garbage yeah, and traffic and pollution because so many people want to go see the animals. Sure. Which I get, but they should just sell tickets. You know what I mean? Yes. Like you limit. do for a con limit, right. you know, yes. and, and yes. make people more, go at certain more times. More control. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 I, think, I think that's that's necessary. Yeah. Yes. But but I also think that the parks were were created for people to 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 access Definitely. for yes. free. So come on, let's make sure they're staffed properly right. and don't make cuts where cuts shouldn't be made. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And but that was a hundred years ago too. Literally, those guys threw a bison ago. in their back seat because True. they thought it was shivering it was and then they had to euthanize it. Right. And then last right. week at Yellowstone there was an elk that rammed into a lady because she got too close. These animal people encounters need to watch out. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so be careful this summer. Okay. We've got right. we'll do. more round table right after the break, so don't go away. Billy.